Arguably one of the best bike parks in the UK is none other than Bike Park Wales. Set in the amazing Brecon Beacons, Bike Park Wales is the whistler of UK mountain biking. With a dedicated uplift service, you can access 46 world-class trails which are graded from green all the way up to pro. They have a mixture of jumps, tech, and flow trails to suit your every need. It's a great experience for anyone who knows their way around a mountain bike. Of course, this experience comes at a cost, but just how much is a day at Bike Park Wales actually going to set you back? When heading for a day at the bike park, your first expense is going to be your uplift pass. A day pass here is going to cost you £48, which is set to rise next year. In the summer, the uplift runs from around 10am to 7 in the evening. However, in the winter, it's only between 10 and 4. This is due to the fact that it gets dark early in the winter. And as you can see in some of these wooded sections, it really does get dark. In the winter season, we managed to get around nine shuttles. With the longer hours in the summer, you can happily have a break for lunch and still have plenty of time left for a few more runs. However, in the winter, it's still well worth it. Of course, the number of runs you do will depend on how fast you ride and the trails you choose. Some trails being more direct than others. The good news is that I've never had a problem with queuing for the uplift, so you don't waste any time standing around at the bottom. Now, there are limited pay-as-you-go passes or even pedal passes available, but the Pedal Up Trail is around 5 kilometers of uphill riding, so it's going to take you a while, even on an e-bike. But it isn't just the uplift that's included in the price. All the parking here is free. It does get busy, but there's plenty of it. You also get free bike wash facilities, although there's usually a long queue at the end of the day. So, the second cost to factor in is going to be your food. Stopping off for some lunch, a Bike Park Wells burger and chips is going to set you back £15. Throw in a cup of coffee and you're talking just under 20 quid. Now, I guess this is what it is, and it's pretty standard at most trail centres and bike parks. But just be aware that if you're going to buy more than one meal, things could get expensive. Now, another big cost for most visitors is going to be fuel. This will of course depend on how far away you live. For me, I put in around 60 quid in the car and I'll use most of it on this trip. This does bump the price of a day trip up by quite a lot. So if you're going with friends, carpooling is a great option to split the cost. Alternatively, if you don't fancy the drive in one day, there is a premiere in six minutes away from Bike Park Wales, which is an awesome option. Other potential costs to your day are spares and repairs. Like a lot of bike parks, this one has a dedicated shop and bike workshop. These are great for kit and repairs, but if you leave your helmet or your shoes at home, you could end up having an expensive day here. So, for my visit, factoring in my uplift, fuel and food, today's ride at Bike Park Wales cost me around £126.50. Almost £130 may seem like a lot to pay, especially when you can travel to your local trail centre for the day and just pay £8 for parking. But where trail quality is concerned, you get what you pay for. And in my opinion, Bike Park Wales is worth every penny. So for the pure amount, variety and quality of the trails here, you can't go wrong. For the twice per year I visit somewhere like this, £130 including travel seems like a small price to pay. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on bike park costs, so why not put them down in the comments. Thanks for watching, remember to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.